Finally, let's take a look at e-wallets. I mean, not long ago when the first e-wallets started to spread, most saw them as a smart, new, somewhat posh personal finance gig. A solution that's nice to have, but not a necessity. What's the current status of e-wallets? I mean, could you give us some examples of how they fundamentally improve our financial lives? Absolutely, super delighted to offer some insight on that matter as well and the use case. If you look at the e-wallets and the adoption rates, they are on a global level uh, only increasing. It has become like useful commodity so that uh, starting from, let's say, uh, in layman terms, like e-wallets started to, let's say, uh, to just be out there because fintech became popular. It was a single function, there was no use of it. Suddenly, and also at the same time, if you look at a single bank, your digital bank in your mobile wallet, it is only consisting of the services by a specific bank. But now if you look at any other, let's say, merchant, retailer out there offering a wallet, that can contain the, let's say, payment information by multiple credit and debit cards. It can, let's say, you can have multiple loyalty schemes over there. You can also interact with multiple economic actors over there. You can activate the insurance services over there. You can even, let's say, subscribe yourself to the money management and wealth management capabilities and so forth. So this is a completely new world that has emerged uh, in the world of e-wallets. So from a single task and mission specific uh, wallet to the whole set of super app ecosystem inside of one wallet. And uh, Southeast Asia has uh, showcased also a tremendous need for those because they have overcome like the legacy payment rails and the way things are done. So that means also it's a huge cost saving and skipping the legacy, how the money is moving and how the economy uh, and society works as a whole. If you look, for example, the examples of uh, WeChat Pay, Alipay and the likes. Who's behind the e-wallet solutions? I mean, what's the infrastructure behind them? There is another emerging trend that I need to highlight. That is all about the uh, emerging group of people working as freelancers, as gig economy employees, the, like Uber drivers, uh, food couriers and so on. And the way how they are positioned in the society. So that uh, if you're a large company with uh, hundreds if not thousands of subcontractors, why not to make uh, their payroll available to their accounts immediately? You don't have to wait until the end of month. Having access to the real-time money transfers, uh, providing those people uh, with additional set of services like insurance, additional advisory services, how to do the money better, how to tackle the aspects of financial health. These are, let's say, the topics that not, not many uh, companies out there even discuss. And when you look all of these kind of set of services, that means that you need to have a robust environment where you can launch such wallets, accounts which can hold the uh, cash balance, you can issue virtual or debit cards, ev or uh, even provide some of the financing capabilities. And then beside that, you need to be able to orchestrate the collaboration with third parties. And when you imagine what kind of requirements are in place for such kind of platform, then this needs to be nimble, this needs to be flexible, and this needs to be scalable. And these are all the aspects that Modular Bank uh, brings to the table. Because what we love to say is that it is so easy to build complex things, but it is so complex to build something simple and elegant. And that is what we have tackled with Modular Bank. Could you give us a case study? Very simple. Economic actors in the gig economy space. Why to delay the uh, payouts to those persons delivering the goods and so forth uh, until the end of month if you can make uh, uh, those cash payments and uh, money transfers available to them immediately and provide them also with the means of uh, payment capabilities uh, either on like electronic transfers or via payment cards. The whole set of services plus additional uh, level of insurances and uh, money management uh, capabilities.